This video demonstrates how to install Git on Windows 10 computers. Uh, before installing Git or before any installation that you want to do on your Windows 10, it's always a good idea to check and see if your Windows need any critical updates. Um, if you to do that, you can simply click on Start and click Updates and check for updates. And that's going to bring up this that you can actually click. You just got to say you're up to date, so you're fine. Otherwise, check for updates. If you check over here, it's going to um, check and see if there's any critical things needed to be updated. Anyways, to install the, uh, the Git, open up the browser. And in the browser, just type uh, Git download. And the first thing that comes up, uh, it goes to Git download. And um, select Windows. Uh, and that's going to start the uh, uh, download immediately. So wait for the download to get completed. After the download is completed, open uh, the file you just downloaded and say yes for the administrative rights. So it actually um, tells you that something wants to change your computer. Click on next on the setup of uh, Git until I keep clicking on next by, by default until you get to the selection of the editor. Um, the Git's, uh, Git needs sometimes to edit files for different reasons, um, text files, and for that it needs to know which editor you prefer. Um, you can select different ones if you have them available on your computer. Um, like if you have Visual Studio Code on your computer, click over there, but if it's dimmed it means it can't find it. Um, the safest thing, the, the easiest editor that you can use this is Nano. It's mm, almost on any flavor on Linux, so most of the students know how to work with it. Um, click on Next again. It gives you the option of where you want the command line, Git command lines, to be uh, um, uh, executed from, where the command line should be available. Only through Git Bash, this Git uh, uh, installation installs a bash shell on your windows so if you want to only be accessible through that then you have to click over here if you want it to be uh, executable from any command line on windows which means you if you just type command over here cmd and hit enter if you want to be able to execute from any command line then uh, uh, select the second one uh, and if you want the optional Unix tools to be added to your path, so when you are doing ls, it shows a directory, and if you're, like, you use that, when you use the usual Unix commands, um, you can use this from your Windows too. You can select the third one, but if you are um, doing specific Windows shell programming, if you are doing doing something like that that uh, has co uses commands like find and sort then this is not a good option because this is going to overwrite the, the pa this path is going to overwrite those Windows commands I'm not using it so I'm going to select that one and I'm going to click next and then again everything else is going to be uh, done by default um, again keep going everything by default and uh, that's it. Click and install at the end and wait for the installation to be completed. After the installation is completed, which is right now, okay uncheck this one because you don't want to see the release notes if you want to do it click on finish now if you actually bring up a command line and type git you'll see that git's going to come up so using this you can actually uh, start downloading uh, start um, cloning um, gits from github repository so if i go for example type over here uh, uh, let me just go to the root Okay, so then I'm gonna say, um, you see, I'm uh, I'm typing ls right now. It actually issues the ls 
instead of directory so if I do dir that's the windows if I do ls that's the shell command coming on so I'm gonna do make directory um, say I am in op244 for example um, subject enrolled in op244 subject at Seneca College I'll go op make directory op244 and go to that directory now let's open up uh, github op mm, Seneca I believe it's 244200 so we're gonna come over here and say I want to clone this repository so I'll click over it lower this one and um, I can I can simply go to clone or download and clone with HTTPS because I'm not logged in I'm just gonna copy it click over here and it's gonna copy this path into the clipboard so this path is copied into clipboard now or you can select the whole thing right click and do copy it's the same thing um, now I'll go to command and in here I can say git clone and I right click to paste the, the path and when I hit enter over here it's gonna clone the repository over here so if I look at it now I have OP244 notes over here and you have all the stuff that your professor posts on on github for you the good thing over here is that you don't need to uh, read clone and this one over and over and as soon as uh, your professor as soon as he adds anything to the repository so if I if uh, if I for example make any change to this so say I changed something like this um, um, oh I'm not logged in but anyways if anything changes over here um, you, uh, you can simply say git pull and hit enter and it's going to uh, just bring up the changes and add it to your repository so you don't have to re-download it this is a beautiful way to uh, uh, keep your repository sync with what you have on GitHub. Thanks for watching.